Welcome to Shenandoah National Park. I'm Ranger Kalen. Shenandoah National Park was originally set aside in 1936. But why? Why this area? Well, the main focus was the amazing views that we have along the ridge tops in the mountains. The wildlife and the ecosystem here kind of was second thought behind those amazing views. It is estimated that before European colonization, there was over two million black bears in the United States. But just one year after the park was created, in 1936, so in 1937, it was reported that there were two black bears in Shenandoah. Throughout the years of Shenandoah being a national park and these bears and this land being protected, their population has continued to rise. It's now estimated that there are roughly 400 to 600 black bears in Shenandoah National Park. How many of you want to see a black bear here at Shenandoah? If you have seen one, write in the comments below in one sentence how it felt when you saw your first wild black bear here. But what makes seeing a black bear so special in Shenandoah National Park compared to them like a zoo? Well, here they're wild, right? You get to see them in their natural setting with minimal human interaction, hopefully. You can see them interacting with other wildlife, interacting with the ecosystem around them. You could possibly see them drinking water from a stream in the park, digging for grubs in the woods, or maybe even up in a tree, eating apples and acorns, just doing what they do best. Speaking about eating, did you bring your favorite snack? I brought mine. Let's test our knowledge with a fun little game about what we know about black bears. So grab a snack. Now, do you think black bears are omnivores, herbivores, or carnivores? If you think they're omnivores, move your snack over here. Omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals. Carnivores, right here in the middle, they only eat meat. Or if you think black bears are herbivores, move your snack over here, they only eat plants. Black bears are omnivores. They eat both plants and meat, just about anything. If you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, store it away and cache it for later. Do you think black bears are diurnal, nocturnal, or crepuscular? Do you think they're diurnal, more active during the day? Nocturnal, more active at night? Or crepuscular, more active during dawn or dusk? Black bears are considered to be crepuscular. They're more active during dawn and dusk. Now you have a chance of seeing black bears at any time, but they're more active during this time period. They do have a special layer of tissue in their eye that reflects light back through the retina to help enhance low light vision, like dawn and dusk. If you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. Which sense do you think is the least relied on for black bears? All their senses are pretty strong, but which one do they rely on least? Is it their eyesight, their hearing, or their sense of smell? Black bear's sense of smell is great. Their nasal mucus area and their nasal cavity is about 100 times stronger, bigger than in humans. Their limits of how far they could smell is untested. Great sense of smell. Hearing is also amazing. Their hearing is their first line of defense. They can hear in all different directions. And their hearing is twice as sensitive as ours is. Their eyesight is one of the least relied on senses for a black bear. That doesn't mean their eyesight's bad. It just means they rely more on hearing and seeing. Their eyesight's still really good. 
and they have a great eyesight, especially to see little ants, to see berries on a branch to be able to pick off and eat. But it's usually the one that's less relied on. If you see a black bear standing up on its hind legs, what it's trying to do is get a better whiff of what you are, hear what you are, and maybe see, get a little better view of what you are as well. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. How big are black bears in Shenandoah? If you think a male black bear, on average, a boar weighs anywhere between 100 to 300 pounds, move your snack over here. If you think it it's weighs on average maybe 200 to 500 pounds, move your snack over here. So an average male size here at Shenandoah National Park is anywhere between 100 to 300 pounds. A male boar can be from a shoulder length, about two to three feet in height, and from the nose to the bottom, anywhere between five to six feet in length. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and catch it for later. How high can a black bear reach when it's standing on its hind legs? Do you think it's five feet? Seven feet? or maybe 10 feet high when it stands on its hind legs. On average, a black bear can reach about seven feet high. A little higher than me. Black bears are not very good at vertically jumping either. So when you're hiking, or when you're camping, and backcountry camping in Shenandoah National Park, you do have to hang your food from a tree at least 10 feet off the ground and four feet away from the tree trunk. Make sure you check out the park's website for more information on how to properly camp, backcountry camp, at Shenandoah National Park. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, scroll it away and cash it for later. Do you think black bears can only have black colored fur or can they have other colored fur as well? Black colored fur only or other colored fur. Black bears can have other colored fur, not only just black. They can have white, blonde, brown, red, and in some places in the U.S. even a blue-gray color to their fur. At Shenandoah National Park, most of the bears, the majority color, is a black fur color. The melanin, 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 the melanin in the fur, the black color, does help keep it uh, a little thicker against some of the abrasion of the bushy understory here at Shenandoah. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. How fast can a black bear run? Do you think black bears can run faster than the speed limit on Skyline Drive? Or can they run slower than the speed limit on Skyline Drive? So the speed limit on Skyline Drive is 35 miles per hour and 25 miles per hour in the developed areas. Black bears can exceed 30 miles per hour when running at full speed. And they can do that running uphill or downhill or on flat ground as well. So never run from a bear if you do encounter one in Shenandoah. Not only are they fast, but they do have a prey instinct and they may chase as well. So make sure you check out the park's website to learn about how to properly hike in black bear country here at Shenandoah. If you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. Did you know that black bears all have the same birth months? Not the same birthday, but the same birth months. So when are black bears born? Do you think it's November to October, or May through August, or are they born in January and February? So black bears are born in January and February. But here's the fun and interesting thing. Mating season is in May through August, but they have a delayed implantation. That means the eggs are fertilized, but they don't uh, nestle in to the uterus wall until 
November to October, when the black bears go into hibernation. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. How many cubs does a female black bear, a sow, have in a litter? Do you think it's three, two, or one? On average, a sow has anywhere between three to two cubs in a litter. These cubs will stay with mom for about one and a half years before they go off on their own. And a female bear is an adult when they reach reproductive age between three to four years of age. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. What is the best way to age a bear? Do you think it's by their size, how big they are, uh, by their teeth, or by the color of their fur? The best way to age a bear is by their teeth, which is definitely not something you should do. But what scientists do will is take a cross, will cut one of these teeth in half and look at the cross section of it and count the rings, just like tree rings. Every year, two rings are formed, one during the active eating season and one during hibernation. So here's some terms for you about what black bears are called. If black bears are born that year, that winter, a lot of times you'll hear them called koi, C-O-Y means cubs of the year. And then you also hear the term subadult, and that's until they reach reproductive age of about three to four years of age. So, if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. Are black bears hibernators? Uh, move your snack over here if you think, yes, they're hibernators. Move your snack over here if you think, no, they're not hibernators. Or here if you don't know, you're unsure, or it depends on what your definition of hibernation is. So if you consider hibernation just a seasonal reduction of temperature, then black bears are not hibernators. However, sciologists or biological scientists are learning that there's more to hibernation than just a seasonal reduction of temp body temperature. So black bears are actually very good mammalian hibernators. Mammalian hibernation is a reduction in metabolism that corresponds with scarcity of food and colder weather. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cache it for later. How many calories do black bears eat in a day? In the summer months, do you think it's 5,000 to 8,000 calories a day, 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day, or 15,000 to 20,000 calories a day in the summer months. So humans on average eat 2,000 to 3,000 calories a day, depending on how active you are. In the summer active months for a black bear, they eat anywhere between 5,000 to 8,000 calories a day. But during fall, during hyperphagia, black bears consume 15,000 to 20,000 calories a day. So if you got that right, have your snack. If you got it wrong, squirrel it away and cash it for later. Speaking of calories, how many calories did we just eat learning about bears? I'm gonna go ahead and save my snacks or my cache here. Squirrel it away for later. Squirrel caches are a great source of food for bears. They can be full of acorns, hickory nuts, or chestnuts. In a good crop year, a single bear can eat 4,000 nuts in one day. About 30% of a black bear's diet is nuts. Now, your food caches uh, are not good source for black bears. So please make sure you check out the park's website or our other programming here 
to find out the proper way to store your food when hiking and backcountry camping in Shenandoah. Plants make up about 30% of a black bear's diet. Typically in the spring when the plants are young and fresh, before a lot of the really good nutrients are turned into hardened cells. Black bears have broad, flat molars to help crush vegetation like plants. In the summer, as berries begin to ripen throughout Shenandoah National Park, black bears will eat them off the plant with their sensitive, mobile lips. Black bears have a two-part stomach that help them eat the berry whole, digest the pulp, and then spread the seed out. They're great spreaders of seeds. Berries make up about 25% of a black bear's diet. Insects make up about 10% of a black bear's diet, and it's mostly the animal protein for them. They like to eat hornet larva, larva grubs, and ant broods are their favorite, especially for the ant larva. They have a long tongue specialized for eating insects, just like other ant specialists that we may know, like anteaters. Their front canine teeth and their strong claws also help to tear in to logs looking for them. Last bit of a black bear's diet, the 5% is animal meat. They can eat ground nesting birds, fish when they're spawning, or fawns when they can find them. It all depends on what's available. A black bear's keen sense of smell and their sensitive mobile lobes are all different adaptations they have to be able to find food here at Shenandoah. But what can their skull tell us about their diet as well? When looking at a black bear's skull, when you look near the top of it, near the back where it connects with the spine, you see this crest. This is called a, a sagittal crest, and that's where the chewing muscles attach for the jaw. The larger the crest is, the stronger the bite. Black bears need a strong bite in order to kill prey, tear open logs, and other things. They have front incisors for cutting up meat and clipping vegetation. Their canines and premolars here and here are great for chewing up meat and plants, other types of vegetation. And the back molars, the flat ones all the way in the back, are great for crushing acorns and nuts. Shenandoah National Park has close to 200,000 acres, and we only see a small portion of it at a time. If you're lucky, you may get a chance to see a black bear here at Shenandoah. You may even get to see a glimpse of their natural wildlife. It is important to remember how to properly view these animals. So check out our other programs or the park website to learn how to hike in black bear country. But most importantly, explore, have fun and get excited. Take a moment to watch the wildlife in your national park that are still wild because of visitors like you who respect, who respect these amazing creatures. I was like, I just put all that out beautifully, and then I had to mess that word up. Ah. Okay. <laughs>